Hey there Vixens, Andy here. Um, so today's video will be based on me doing an eyeliner tutorial, eyelash tutorial, and eye, my eyebrow tutorial. All in one tutorial. I had requests on this video um, from multiple people, so I'm going to go ahead and do this video for you guys. If you like this video, please don't forget to leave a like button, um, press the like button, leave a comment down below about anything on, on the video. If you liked it, don't like it, if you want more, less, whatever. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And if you hit the little bell on the side of the subscribe button, you'll be subscribed or notified every time I post a new video. Um, so I'm not going to fast forward this video. I'm not going to pause the video. It is going to be regular speed through the whole video so if you're ready and prepared for a long video on an in-depth in-depth um, way on how I do all of this then uh, go ahead and keep watching and um what else was I gonna say I guess let's get started you're gonna see all my mess ups if I mess up so and I'm not wearing any makeup so none at all I'm going to try to get as close as possible so y'all can see how I do this with my eye. Okay. So. Okay. Um, first thing I will do is my eyebrows. I'm not going to clean up around them today with concealer like I usually do. I'm just going to fill it in, shade it in, and call it a day. So. Let's, uh check that out I, I just need to get my brush real quick so one second okay I got my brush so I just paused it real quick for my brush I'm already going to you guys I told y'all I was gonna pause it <laughs> okay so I will be using to fill in my brows my Anastasia dip brow pal uh, pomade and the color Auburn um, this is what it looks like I don't know if I've showed y'all before, but I just, I put some on the brush, and then, oh, excuse me, I put some on the brush, and then I wipe some off of it, because it, it's really pigmented, and a lot will, a little bit will give you, take you a long way. So, hopefully that's close enough for you guys. Oh, do I gotta brush it. So get your favorite spoolie brush, or eyebrow brush, or whatever you want to do. Just brush, I brush my hairs down. I don't do this all the time, but I guess this is to get the closest and the most natural looking way. I gotta pluck my eyebrows again. So that's how I do the top part. I just stop about right at the arch. I don't go all the way down. Then I brush up. Okay. Oh, I forgot to wipe the excess off. Sorry. Um, now I'm going to do the bottom. course dang it um, cleaning up with a concealer makes it look a lot sharper neater now I do the top exactly where so I basically just outlined it like a coloring book and see this right here this mess up that I did would be good for the concealer I don't know I don't know if I should do the concealer. I'll do the concealer anyway, just to show y'all how to do it if y'all would like to see that. Uh, let me get my concealer real quick. <clears throat> okay, I got my concealer, sorry. Um, let me just fill in my eyebrow and then I'll clean up with the concealer for you guys after all. So I don't do much, I just can get the bottom and push it upward. And then in those areas that are 
where you can see no hair at all. I just filled that in towards the tail of my brow, not the front. And if you need hairs in the front, just do little lines. It's up to you. I do a little bit of lines on this side because this one's longer, so. Everyone's eyebrows are different. Literally no one's eyebrows are equal, so. If they say they are, it's because they're not real. And just brush it. You're gonna see my little crazy hairs that are right here. I don't want to go down. And I can put my gel or my wax on it, but it's just not going to go down because that's that one crazy hair I usually pluck. I gotta pluck my brows. Okay, so I got it all filled in and shaded. Now I'm going to go in with my concealer from It Cosmetics, the Bye Bye Under Eye. I'm just going to use that to clean up underneath. You go as close as possible. Remember, however close you get to the line, it'll erase it, so just be careful how much you put it on and where you put it, because you could just erase everything you just did. See, for instance, I messed up right there. I'm telling you guys, I didn't. I'm not adding anything off of this, so y'all could see how much of a struggle it is sometimes. There we go. Fixed it. Now just dab it. The concealer, because I don't want to mess up the hard work. And just in case you do, just go back with whatever's left on your brush and fill it in. It's okay if you're learning or whatever you're doing. There's no timer. There's no race. Take as long as you need. No one's perfect. Why do you think all these girls do these this off camera? Because it's hard to get it the first time. No one's going to. No one's magical. No one can just... Eyebrows are done. That's fake. Everything that's hard for you is hard for everyone. It just takes time to be good at it and better. And even if you do become better, you're still going to mess up. We're not perfect. We're humans. So, it's fine. Now, I'm going to go to my eyebrow... My eyebrow. My eyeliner. And also, I'm going to leave the concealer there because, once again, if I mess up, I can just clean it up. Concealer is like an eraser for makeup, so keep that in mind. Instead of having to use a makeup wipe and it messing up your whole entire look, just go with concealer. It fixes everything. That is the magic in this whole look. So now, with my eyeliner, I'm going to just go with my waterline right here at the bottom and just go up with it. Just make a line. Do you see that? Y'all can see all my pores. It looks terrible. But anyway. Go as far as you want. This is a new eyeliner so it's not pointy enough. Now you don't pull your eye because that'll that'll cause you to have um, wrinkles and not only that but if you pull it it stretches it out and then when you let it go it looks like it looks shorter and you're like what I just made it really long it's just a waste of time so just take your time if you need to I don't know if I'm looking right just make a line on top whoa 
Here's better liners to try for the first time on doing this, if you're doing it for the first time. For instance, I've never used this one, and so far I hate it. I'm going to try my other eyeliner. See? Now I see my mess up. I don't like how this looks. It might be good for like just a, just a line over the lid, but to do a sharp pointed cat eye or a wing, it's not working for me. I'll just wipe it all off. And I'll go in with my other eyeliner that I use. Ugh. Look at this black eyeliner, it's so black. It's getting everywhere. I just got that eyeliner. My grandma got it for me, I think. So. What did I tell y'all was? It was it's wet and wild. It might work for y'all, it might not work for me. That I mean everything is different for everyone, so. I'm gonna try my other eyeliner. I'm gonna get that one for y'all. So uh real quick second. Okay, so what I discovered on that eyeliner, the tip of that brush is just not pointy enough. And it has a lot of product on it. It's just really watery. Maybe that might be the reason. Or maybe I'm just coming up with excuses. Whatever you want to call it. I'm going to go with my go-to eyeliner from Milani. The iTech Perfection. Now, all I do with this, since it's already pointed and perfect, I just like make a stamp of it right there. See? Super easy. It's not dark enough. playing on this video because I'm just doing a lot more talking one on one with y'all than music in the background having us hear it and then not hear it and, uh, see I messed up again let me just clean that up so I kind of got like the whole thing going on there, now I just gotta sharpen it up. See? How do you have to feel about that? It's not super dark, but it's there. You can see it. If you want to make it darker, you can go in with the watery, darker one that I did. And I could make it darker since it's already outlined and I don't need to do anything extra to it. So I got that done. Got the eyeliner and the eyebrows done. See, I feel like I still messed up right there, but... Oh, well. It's okay. No one cares. Well, I mean, I'm sure there's people who care, but it's up to you to let them care or not. So, I don't care. <laughs> now I'm going to go in with my eyelashes. I'm going to use the Kiss um, Pompadour Lash from the Blowout Couture set, I believe. Yeah. And I'm going to use my dual eyelash adhesive the dark tone and I will apply that for you guys up close and personal um, just gonna get the glue on here
And I'm sure there's girls that are gonna be watching this and our guys saying, oh, she's doing it so much harder than it is. And maybe they've been doing it longer than me. Maybe they've been doing it the same amount as me. Maybe they think they're perfect. Maybe they are perfect, whatever. I'm me and I'm gonna do it the way I want. And this is how I am showing y'all. And y'all can choose to do it the way I'm doing it or not to. But I figured if I can help, I'd like to. So while this dries, I'm just gonna lay it on top of the little plastic. It's not touching anything. So I'm gonna curl my lash and uh, curl my lashes and then put some mascara on. And I know there's some people that are scared of these monsters to put near their eye. For instance, my mom is terrified of them. She thinks it's going to rip all her eyelashes out. If you don't like them, don't use them. Choose and use whatever you want to use. Now I'm going to use my roller lash mascara. If y'all can hear that coughing, it's my baby. He's like, sorry. I mean, I'm not sorry he's sick. It's not that he He's a baby. But sorry you can hear any background noise. And if you can't hear me, put headphones on. Alrighty, Roo. I got my mascara. <laughs> That's my mascara on my eyelashes. Let's see if my lashes are dry. Nope. The glue is not tacky. It's not even like zooming in. Zoom in. There you go. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that, seeing YouTubers do it. It's so cute. I don't know why. It's just, maybe it's just me. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so I just put my lashes like so on my tweezers. Can you see that? And let's see how close I could get for y'all. I just place it like this eh, on my lashes, just laying there, right in the middle. And then I push this side down. Sorry, I forgot out of camera. I just push the sides down as close to my waterline or my lashes, my natural lash line as possible. Can y'all see that? Okay, um, I just had to pause it real quick to check my son, but this is my finished look. This is how I apply my lashes, my eyeliner, and my eyebrow um, pomade. Um, if you like how this came out, please let me know if you want something else like this on something more in depth on something. I'm only doing one side, so... that's how it turned out um but that's gonna be the end of my video for today you guys because like I said I don't feel well but if y'all uh, have any requests on anything 
I will be willing to post whenever y'all want, whatever it is y'all want to see more in depth on. And I will update y'all if I change any, um, change any of my ritual or whatever you want to call it on how I apply my lashes, my eyeliner, and my eyebrows. Um, but thank you for watching this video and tuning in today. And like I said, I know it's a long video, but I hope y'all learned something. I hope y'all were able to figure out how to do it easier. Maybe I did it too hard compared to what y'all do. It's, it's up to you. It's by preference and your opinion on what you prefer to do. Um, but this is how I prefer doing it, and this is what works for me. So if you want to see more videos on how I do my stuff or my makeup or apply anything, just let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you do like it. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will be posting a video every Thursdays and Fridays or Wednesdays and Fridays I don't know I'll update y'all for sure on that but I will be posting a video twice a week um, so that y'all can see more of me if you want to who wouldn't want to um, but I love you guys and please tune in next time for another video okay